What is going on guys? Wiser here bringing you the recap of the last war in 2.0. Uh, as you can see, it was an arranged matchup against FYSB, and it was a nail-biter. Rule one, one star difference, and that one star difference came from one Town Hall 10 three star. <clears throat> so we'll flip over to our basis first and just see that, yeah, they cleared up the nines. And they managed to get a three star in on Maddie. So good for them, FYSB. Great, great fought war. Uh, we gave it our all too, and as you can see, we just missed the tying star right here. KNX, just a beast, goes in on their number one, steals a 96%. So, <clears throat> well done on both sides. Uh, obviously, uh, we would have liked things to have fell a little bit differently, but uh, I got some great replays to show you here. So, we are actually going to start with the man. KNX and show his near, near, near miss. Uh, there was literally at least one little thing that I saw that if that had happened, I think it would have made it the three star. It wasn't KNX's fault, just the way the AI kind of happened, but let's jump in here and check this out. So you can see he's got three Lava Hounds, uh, two Golems, I believe one, he's got one in a CC. So he's just going to go in straight up at this four o'clock position maybe he doesn't have a golem in the cc no he doesn't he goes in with one golem and his king his level 40 king which is basically a golem that does damage <laughs> so he sends it in his goal is to get this queen get this air defense and really just clear out a good section of this base he's getting a lot of push in from this level 40 queen level 40 king that helps a lot obviously he wants to take care of the cc troops and he even starts in early he knows he's got to start that air early if it's even going to have a chance this queen's still doing work <clears throat> this dragon's alive but locks onto her it's going to be dead in a second as you can see he's sending in one lava hound uh so did he bring four lava hounds i think he brought four lava hounds here can't believe I didn't check to see what was in a cc sorry about that but uh i think it was four lava hounds uh he's got Hastes in a nice horseshoe, rage in the core. He rages right over to that inferno tower. Now watch this archer tower. This archer tower at nine o'clock. If it goes down here, one more hit. Look at the sliver of health it's got left. It takes out one, two, and three balloons. That if that was down, they would have all been going down towards this air defense. If he had three more balloons here. It would have made it to this air defense because he still got two. He would have had three more. Still three air, air right over top. That air defense goes down. He's got a three star in the bag. It's unfortunate. But I'm going to fast forward this a little bit because it's uh, pretty much done for now because he's just got pups and that air defense is going to pick everything off as it comes down there. Really nice try, KNX. Your impresses always, uh, sorry, your attacks always impress me. Uh, you're just a boss. So we'll move into some of the TH9 attacks now. <clears throat> I honestly wish I could show all of them because <laughs> there are so many nice attacks. It was really difficult for me to pick out uh, some of my favorites. Uh, Diesel had a really nice one on their max. JJ had a really nice one. But I'm actually just going to start in on Mal's attack on number 10. <clears throat> I like this one because it was uh, shattered entry with the golems. His goal here is to get this air defense, push up into this compartment and take out the heroes and that next air defense. And then he's going to send in three Lava Hounds and his 16 balloons on the other side. So he opens up the wall here. King moves in. He puts a rage down because he knows that CC is coming out. Gets the jump going, the poison going. Queen steps up, starts taking out the CC troops, which is nice. That Golem's going to take care of that air defense. Queen's locked onto the loon. Now she's locked onto the drag. King's hopped over now, taking care of the heroes in that kind of queen uh, queen compartment. <clears throat> One more hit on the air defense. He's now has two air defense down. Heroes are down. The kill squad's job is done. So he sends in two Lava Hounds on this first air defense. He's going to sprinkle some loons around with the Rage. They are just going to push right up onto that air defense. And he's going to send in one more Hound and basically do the same. These Teslas pop here. So they do make short work of this lava, but he's got balloons kind of coming in from all angles with the rage there. So another hound comes in to back that up. Perfect timing on that. 
all the loons take out that last air defense. Really, the only threats are, are what you see right in the core here, and uh, it's just not enough to deal with that many balloons. So, just killed it, Mal. Great attack. Fast forward in this a little bit. All you got left up here is these three defenses and probably eight balloons, so there's no way that it's going to take that out. His queen's still almost full health. Fantastic job, Mal. Great attack. was just beautiful. Right, moving down the chains here by one. Uh, I wanted to show Kev's attack here. It was really nice. 2.0, a fearless leader, showing his stuff with a sort of max attack style. He brings two golems and three lava hounds, opens this compartment up, and he's really going to have access to the sweeper and the two air defense and the queen. So that's his goal here. He doesn't bring many wizards. He doesn't need to create much of a funnel on this side, which is nice. He's just got a few buildings to take care of, so he can really minimize how many wizards he brings and bring that extra balloon. Still ends up with 14 balloons, which is nice. Sends his heroes in. Again, the goal is to get these two air defenses, take care of the CC troops and the queen. Sends in that loon from the backside. I really like that. I'm pretty sure he gets a one for one value. Oh, no, not quite. That air defense didn't go down. But the golemite should take care of it here, I believe, with one smack, two smacks. Oh, maybe not. Yeah, his little explosion takes care of it. One air defense is now down. These two wizards are just about to take this down with the queen. Again, mission accomplished by the kill squad. Great job on this max attack style. <clears throat> Rage goes down. He's going to send in a few loons kind of sandwiching in on this air defense. They're going to converge on it. Once this air defense is down, it, the loons are just going to start pushing straight across this base. <clears throat> Lava Hound goes over to that next air defense nice and early, which is great because he's just buying his balloons time to work through this base. Crossbow's going down. He's got three coming in down on these Teslas. Three coming in on the Wiz Tower while it's focused on the Lava Hounds. Just great placement by everything. He's got another Lava Hound come in and do some tanking there. His balloons are barely getting touched. Really only has a handful of defenses left. All air defenses are down. They don't stand a chance against this little pack of balloons he's got moving across the map. He's got pops pretty much everywhere. All his Lava Hounds burst. It's always nice when that happens. So we're just going to fast forward this one a touch. Last couple defenses are down. And it's clean up. Nice job, Kev. Really beautiful attack. That's the three. Right, so let's see what kind of went ha what happened on the bottom of the map. We're gonna scroll all the way down. Check out Ritzy Boys. Beautiful attack he brings on 25. Pretty sure it's another max attack style. Yeah, he's brought the earthquake. Looks like he's got two golems, two lava hounds, and he brings extra loons. So really, he brings the extra loons because he sees these two lower level def uh, air defenses. So he's not too concerned about that back one. And I'll show you why when we get there. But he uses the earthquake to open up these compartments. Basically going to charge right in. See the little block broken on the corner? He even has access to that archer queen. So that's his goal is to get through these two air defense and take out the archer queen. Oh. Got to remember that happens. Uh, so everything's moving in nicely here. He's got great patience with his king. He still hasn't dropped his king. One, he wants everything to lock on to those CC troops, and then he's going to bring in the king from behind. It's nice that town hall was there because it leaves that breadcrumb up for so long. He can be extra patient with his king. Just so, you know, by the time his king gets into queen range, it's still at full health, and it's not, you know, he's got no worries there. King is going to lock onto that queen any second now. There he goes. Locks onto the queen, rages it up. Queen is down. Both air defense are down. So... He's going to start commence his attack up here. Now, what I was saying earlier is this is kind of poor air defense placement because they overlap. See this air defense shooting on those lava hounds? That opens this backside completely up. So Ritzy recognizes that and reacts. <clears throat> He's got haste left in the bag still. There it goes. So just converging on everything, right? I mean, there's an archer tower, an air defense, and a few defenses down here that he's got to worry about. But that's not going to contest with this many balloons. So great attack, Ritzy. His queen's in there. Just going down now. And one, two, three, five defenses. Six defenses if you count this lone mortar up in the corner. Just does not stand a chance for one, two, three, four, five, six. And probably ten balloons at least still. And a lava hound still up. This, unfortunately, he doesn't get this lava hound to burst. But it doesn't matter because... From this point on, it is basically clean up. You see all these pups, this, these wizards doing work, 
just bringing it in. By the time this defense goes down, he really just has this chunk, 83%. So fantastic job, Ritzy. Loved watching this uh, max attack. It was just beautiful. Okay, moving in down to uh, 22 now. This was Sparta's attack, like seeing our uh, Invicta boy bringing the six stars for for 2.0. He was called up not too long ago as a permanent addition to 2.0. So congrats, Sparta. We're gonna showcase one of your attacks right here because it was a nice one. He this is a cleanup attack, so he does know there's a lava hound in the in the CC. So he sends in these hogs, takes this archer tower out. He's gonna get the lava hound out, triggers a bomb at the same time. So that's great. That as a double giant bomb set there, he knows that there's one on the other side. So now it doesn't matter. It's a single giant bomb. Drops the two archers and the healer. This lava hound is now completely null and void for the rest of the raid. So he's creating a super wide funnel now. He's got his two golems down, a shattered entry, looking good. Nice test on the wall breakers. Almost has a little bit of a fail there. Look at the slivers of health on those wall breakers. But it's true Sparta fashion. He just rocks through this as is great patience once again on his king there it goes he wants those golems to get in nice and deep before uh before he drops the king he's got early early poison because he you know he, he just doesn't want the uh uh, he, he doesn't need to use it on the CC, obviously, and it, it's nice because it's kind of slowing down the heroes. He knows those skeleton traps are there, so he just pre-poisons there. R really nice job on that. Like, what else are you going to use the poison for? He knew the skeleton traps were going to distract his king, and he didn't want that. So king goes in, takes up the defensive queen. Still got a full golem up there doing work. Sends in the hogs from the backside. Nice early heal. Look at all these hogs now. Just flooding in. Doesn't have too much to worry about. He knows there's a single there, but that's why the heal's down. Doesn't really do anything to the hogs. Another skelly trap pops, but it just doesn't matter. He's just got a ton of hogs. Another heal to be right over this bomb that he knows is there that he diffused earlier. Hogs get healed right back up, and there's literally two defenses to go. So Sparta, still killing it, buddy. You're making me proud. Glad to be able to show this attack. Glad to see that you had a six-star war. Great work. That is three. All right, so moving on, I got one more to show you. Cash, ripping it up again. <clears throat> Cash literally just wrecks bases. This guy is a machine, three-star machine, I should call it. Goes in with the shattered entry. You notice he's got six Valks, 22 Hogs. I really like this army comp with the double jump. I'm a huge fan of the double jump, especially against these anti-three-stars. Just seems a lot of bases you'll really really get good value on six valks with double jump going through the base where you can just sprinkle 22 hogs in from the outside and let them move through the course so you'll see that's what he does here lets the golems go in again really great patience on the king i, I emphasize this in a lot of invicta wars and, and this war now that the patience on the king as long as you're leaving that breadcrumb the longer you wait the better right sends in the valks behind the king first jump Let's him into pretty much all of these compartments, and he's going to just follow the Valks with the jump. He triggers the double giant bomb there. That's perfect. Another jump goes down. He's got a lot of <laughs> a lot of troops left, and he's already, you know, right into the middle of this base. So defensive queen is now down. He still has golems doing work on that crossbow. The queen kind of gets held up on a wall here, but it's kind of nice that she does because it's going to save her for cleanup now. She, uh, the kill squad has done their work. Sending in these hogs from the outside. Still has a heal in the bag. It's about to go down over this top section of the base to protect the hogs from the wizard tower and, and from this Tesla on this side. But you can see it's just too many hogs. He probably didn't even need the heal because really there's an archer tower left and a Tesla and a cannon. And that, that many hogs is just going to shred through that. So Cash still killing it. Again, you really impressed me. You two guy, two two point oh guys are really just pimps with these attacks. Three star specialist is an understatement. Well done. So really glad to be able to bring you this recap of this arranged matchup against FYSB. Obviously, two point oh was a little disappointed. They fell just short, but really good fight. I'm sure it'll, you know it was a lot of fun. Arranged wars are definitely definitely the best of the best. So glad I could bring you this recap, boys. Until next time, I'm out.